the message of the book, basically, I believe, is that feminine values are the operating system of the 21st century. I, I mean, full on, I think that it is so important to realize your confidence in the skills and competencies that you have because the ability to collaborate, the ability to um, bring empathy into work, it's not a sign of weakness. These are signs of strength. These are going to uh, differentiate leaders, they're going to differentiate firms, and they're going to create value in the future. And, you know, we saw this everywhere we went around the world with amazing women and men. You know, we met Sylvia Lolly in Peru. She was running a, um, a women's um, domestic shelter called, called the Women's House in Lima. And at the time, there were no women on the police force. And in part, they also took a blind eye to domestic abuse toward women. And Sylvia told me she got really ticked off, so she decided to create her own private all-women's police force. <laughs> <laughs> So we talk about it in the book, and three years on, they became so competent and so professional that the government said, hmm, maybe we should have women in the police force. So they integrated them, and corruption dropped by 32% wow. in two years. And my point, I, I, I think here, is that there's just so much conformity around doing things the same old ways. And some of the most amazing innovation we saw were from women and men outside the US in places, in places where they were taking on challenges that were systemic and things hadn't changed and they took a risk and they went for something else. And so I really equate these feminine values to innovation, to competitive advantage. And, and this is the opportunity. And not every company will get it, not every leader will get it, but the ones that do I think are gonna be the difference in creating value for the future.